does, does this review even make sense? Um, I don't know if I'm making any songs. <laughs> Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. I have another review for you this video. I'm reviewing Teju Cole's Open City. So if you watched my my what I read in Mozambique vlog and if I guess maybe if you follow me on Instagram you kind of know that I've had this book for a while and I've been meaning to read it for quite a while but I really struggled with it. Um, the first time I picked it up and it came highly recommended and I know it was a very celebrated book. It's a very celebrated book so when I first picked it up like I read a couple of pages I was like mm, 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 not into it right now. Picked it up a couple of months later, read it, read it maybe until 60 pages. And I was like, mm, still not feeling this book. Um, yeah, so I will be honest, you know, I try to keep it real on my channel. Not I try, I do keep it real on my channel. Um, I really struggle through this book. So after reading like 60 pages and still struggling with it, I decided to give myself a break from it. But then I guess... I, for some reason I was really attached to the book and I really wanted to finish it because I guess the main reason I was attached to the book because of Julius who is the main character I really love you know reading about a character like Julius who um who is a young black man well educated starting his career he's very smart intellectual um philosophical he's got like you know like these interesting very interesting observations and ideas on things he's got like a a huge bank of knowledge and i was like man this is a cool character and i want to read about him but i just i was struggling to get through the book and i was attached because of that and so when i decided to take the break i was like mm, let me read a couple of book reviews and see what people are saying let me watch a couple of book reviews but i also decided to you know, just Google, Google Teju Cole, kind of get a feel for him, watch his videos, like people interviewing him, that kind of thing. Um, and I realized the reason I was struggling is because I had expectations that this book wasn't meeting. So, this book does not have a strong plot line or a strong storyline. It just does not have that. It's not the kind of book you, you're like, oh, okay. There's going to be drama, there's going to be this, there's, you know, it's going to be plot twist. It's not that kind of book. So once I let go of that expectation of, like, expecting, like, a quite evident and strong storyline and plot line, I enjoyed the book for what it was. And simply put, the book is really these thoughts, these streams of thoughts and streams of consciousness that this one character has, that Julius has. And for me, I continued reading because I really liked who Julius was and what he represented. And therefore, I was like, okay, it's just Julius walking around in the city, traveling, having conversations, and he's having, he's telling you about all of these things, really. And some of them come across like random, but some of them are quite interesting. And it's, it's interesting to hear or it's it's interesting to get to know New York or get to know the world as seen from Julius' perspective because of who Julius is. So if you want to if you want to read a book based on that, I, will, I if you want if you want to read the book based on that, then I will say okay, read it. If you're the kind of person who needs a strong storyline, then I would say this book is not for you. But also. You could read this book. Don't do what I did. I wanted to read the book in one go. I would say maybe read a few pages at a time because the book is quite, is quite dense. And actually in one of the interviews that I watched of Teju Cole, he does say he did not want the book to be an easy read. He wanted the book to be dense. And the book is dense with this character's um, stream of thoughts. Does that make sense? So, yeah, that's the first thing. <laughs> so after watching the interviews of Teju Cole, um, my suspicion is like really open city is just like a combination of 
some of his observations and thoughts over time and he's using this character and he's using this very minimum plot to um to offer us his thoughts and observation this is what my suspicion is you know um so i would suggest like if you really want to read this book if you're not convinced by who if you're not convinced to read the book because of julius the character that i've described if that's not convincing enough for you i would say go and watch interviews of tejigo just to get the kind of guy he is and like his values and principles and just like his way of thinking if you want to get to know julius more based on what i said and if you want to get to know tejuko more who's very brilliant by the way then i would say read the book the storyline is very minimum what you know as you know of julius you know he's an immigrant in america he um he's from nigeria his mom is black uh, his his dad is black nigerian his mom is white um german his mom is estranged and he is making effort you know to look for his grandmother um so pretty much that's the that's the entire story really and there's reference to it but very minimum but i think it's enough for it's enough it's enough for it to feel like it's enough for it to feel like a novel but that's only like i would say that that storyline only takes about 20 percent of the book the rest of it like i said is just a stream of thought a stream of consciousness my favorite part of this book is when he goes to brussels in belgium and the people you know the things that happen there the interesting the people he meets the conversation he has particularly with this guy who's living there but he's from morocco he um he's studying yes he's studying um and working there and just like the the conversations they have around race around um you know the whole israel and palestine situation like i just found those very like enlightening the con enlightening the yeah. other thing that i quite enjoyed about the book is actually right towards the end you learn something about julius that you don't expect at all and that kind of changes your whole perception like i mean it depends on it depends on you but it really changed my whole perception on julius and therefore changing my thoughts on what i thought about his thoughts does that make sense it was a great way to end the book anyway guys um sorry the lighting is getting really bad i have to wrap this up um yeah so that was my review of teju cole's open city and i know the review is on the short side um but yeah i don't think there is much to be said about this book you, yeah so if you like i would highly recommend that you google teju cole and you just get to know him um and his way of thinking because i am convinced that this book is just like a presentation of his thoughts um, and ideas and observations. Um, let me know. Comment down below. Have you read the book? What did you think? Did you struggle with it as well? What What have you heard about the book? Um, yeah, I'd really like to have like a discussion about this. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Bye.